that BMW CE03, 04, or whatever. You know, I, I did like that bike, but the more I think about it, it's like, are you really going to pay 15000 10000 for the lowest uh, option bike? 15 with all, all the bells and whistles for a scooter that goes like 60 miles? When you look at the offerings from Honda, scooters cost, what, $3,000? How many can you get for that price? It boggles my mind how much money people have, and they have this idea that they're going to keep bikes for... You know, eventually, this bike is going to pay for itself. I keep meeting guys who are like, Oh man, I love this bike. They just bought it. I love this bike. It's the best bike I've ever had. I'll keep it forever. Three years later, it's uh, on the marketplace. They're looking for the newest fix. And that's the same thing with the BMW CE04. It's a bike that you think you're going to hold on for a while. You think your spreadsheet is going to be, oh yeah, by, uh, in 10 years it's going to pay for itself. But in reality is, you get a Honda Metropolitan, you commute on it, you spend $3 of gas a week, and most likely you're not going to have any like crazy issues with it and it's a freaking Honda sure it's faster but man you can buy a lot of gas for fifteen thousand dollars it's the same thing with like guys with the BMW GS's I see them getting those bikes for like twenty seven thousand dollars and then they don't have enough money to go on a, a trip what's the point of that you're better off getting something cheap use it and ride the living crap out of it now that's not to say that I wouldn't buy that if I had tons of money but there's like a huge list of things I'd buy for fifteen thousand dollars instead of that scooter I mean there's just so much bikes you can get that are way cooler and I love scooters but that thing is just overly expensive and I, you know, I appreciate the clay, let me use it, so I don't want to trash it too much. But, yeah, that's a rich toy, rich man's toy, and that's all I see it being. Now the whole point of, oh, look at that, is that an Osprey airplane? Oh, no, no, it's in a helicopter. The whole point of scooters is that poor people who can't afford transportation would get it. Right? It's like a approachable way of getting to work. You basically get on a scooter, you ride to your job, you ride back, it shouldn't be too complex. Now you throw in this electric scooter that costs $15,000 and poor people are not going to get it. First of all, most poor people live in apartments. Why is this helicopter circling this place? This helicopter is circling the Beltway. Look at it. There's another helicopter circling over there. What are they doing? There, there's another helicopter over there. Something must have happened. They must be searching for somebody. I bet there's been a shooting. Another thing about these electric vehicles, including Zeros, they have no soul. Oh my god. You know, I know that a lot of guys with Harleys, they say the same thing about the Japanese bikes. They have no soul, they have no spirit. But it feels like that on an electric vehicle. There's no soul. Like there's like nothing particular fun about it. And I think a lot of riding, you ride with your ear. You know, it's like you get a cool exhaust on a motorcycle. It just makes riding so much more fun. But these electric vehicles, zeros and stuff, they're just like electric shavers. Like there's nothing particularly interesting about the riding passion to those things. 
and I mean, batteries generally tend to die I don't know about you but batteries on phones are always going bad they have a limited life I know that Tesla they have lasted for quite some time there's Tesla's with like 500,000 miles and then you read it's like oh yeah I needed a battery pack at 300,000 which is still pretty darn good and I think the way to go is if you want an electric vehicle get a freaking car the way they structure cars with the batteries like down on the floor it's, it's better than like the motorcycles being top heavy zeros are just incredibly heavy that BMW CE04 did not feel heavy um, I think it's the way the scooter uh, platform is the frame it's a 500 pound bike by the way so to put that in perspective uh, I believe it was like 525 my Honda Silverwing 600 cc was 550 pounds or something this one is 650 700 with gas so that's a heavy scooter but it doesn't feel heavy You know, I like the electric scooters. I like electric vehicles. I'm actually a big fan of the electrification of things. But when it comes to pulling the trigger on an electric vehicle, I'm like, mm. I look at the price and I look at the trends and the um, the marketing, and I go, me, not for me, not yet. All right, guys, those those are my thoughts on the BMW CEO4. Hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.